Hey waivers, uh, I'm going to go ahead and answer a question here on the new tech forms under Lightwave General Techniques Tips and Tricks. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and look at this one simulation of a pile of paper falling. So we're going to go ahead and uh, attempt to see if we can do this with uh, Lightwave. Alright, so we'll go ahead and close this down. Just simulating a stack of paper being pushed over and uh, falling down. So let's give that a try. So I went ahead and I created a stack here in Modeler. Uh, this isn't really just one poly. It's basically a block. It has thickness to it. It isn't just a sheet. Because in order for bullet dynamics to work, I actually have to have mass thickness. If I just have one sheet dynamics, bullet dynamics won't see it. So this is what I've come up with as a step one. I've already calculated this. I'm going to go ahead and just play it, switch over to my camera view. So there it goes, knocked over, and basically a deck of cards, pretty hard body dynamics, nothing moving. So we're going to go ahead and use this as a step one, and I'm going to actually save this out as an MDD so I can manipulate it. So for you to do that is just go into properties, go into cloth and uh, I already did it here but you want to scan motion to capture the data happening here so I'll go ahead and close this down and I'll load another scene light wave LWS and we want tests and we are on 6 We'll go to seven. I already pre-did this uh, to save recording time. So we're going to open paper seven. Wait a minute for it to load. Actually, going to go ahead and pause the recording while it loads. Okay, so I've loaded paper seven here. Same block. And it has that little bit of thickness. So this is nothing applied to this yet. It's just the basic model nothing happening in the animation so I'm going to go ahead and select that I'm going to go into properties I already have cloth effects here from that uh, motion scan that I did so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on it's basically just loaded the file I didn't uh, mess with any of these settings because there was no need to because I'm just bringing in the animation, the data animation so now that I scrub through this I get what I had before, except I've got no bullet dynamics running in this, so if I go into item properties, there's nothing in my bullet dynamics. So I know that this is just a clean, straight up MDD file. And so there goes what I want. So I went ahead and loaded another object in here. 
going to scene editor and this is paper 04 block so basically identical instead of now a, a block of a polygon to do my paper it's now just a single sheet of a poly it's just a, a poly plane so I'll go ahead and turn that off and turn this into visible and now you can see I have my you can see there weird GL thing happening there but there is my paper I parent this to paper 03 that has the MDD onto it and I parent this to that so I can apply a metal link so I can use the data happening to that block to the single sheet so I can get a really good de deformation so I'm just going to double click that and I'm going to go to deformers here and I'm going to go ahead and just click metal link metal link is in this drop down here right here you know you have hard link and you have what metal link is basically a soft link and then uh, a link more if we're using metal link so we'll go ahead and close that down close this and now when I play this I get the same thing that I had on my my block so with the same result being a block this is just cardboard flying through the air now I can manipulate this if I go into property right under my normal displacement under this drop down right here normal displacement so I'm going to go ahead and just turn that on and actually move this over and slide this back and then turn it on and close this down and now you get to see the wave happen right here at the end so now I have a paper looking like deformation and that actually happens way down over here as you can see that but you can control that by having it start later or repositioning your null, your distance null to a gradient to that what I'm talking about is if I go in here and I open this up I'm using textures and here's my X distance my gradient to my null and then I have turbulence as my deformer and this controls how much I deform with the gradient to the distance to my null here this null, all I got to do is grab it here and there's my, my effector so I'll kind of just close this down and as we go through where that null is is where it starts to deform and after several tests to get this to behave right this is what I ended up with thanks for watching